Hi guys, welcome to issue 48. Before we get started, big, big update on the prize. So the prize currently consists of issue 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, and this week's issue 48, and the Beast miniature from Time of Legends Joan of Arc. So to be given the chance of winning these, all you need to do is subscribe and comment on this video. And if we get 1500 views by next week, that will be the prize that's given away. If we don't reach it, I'm probably gonna put the prize on hold for a little while, probably until I do a video for my thousand subscribers, which hopefully won't be too long till it comes up. Anyway, on with issue 48. So we have got Space Marine bikes. We have two identical sprues, two bases of a shape which we haven't had before. So let's have a look through the issue first. In this issue, the breakneck pace continues this issue with more rapid reinforcement for your Space Marines. Space Marine bikes are fast and deadly and this issue comes with guides so that you can get them quickly onto the battlefield. This issue's mission comes with a special terrain feature that is printed on the inside back cover. It's a bridge to place between your two battle mats, creating a deadly choke point that your Space Marines will have to cross. To make this job a little easier, we have a tutorial explaining how to add stratagems to your games. Stratagems represent powerful tactics and unique and unique abilities that add your force that your and unique abilities that your forces can use to turn the tide of battle. Happy hopping. Okay, so we learn about the bikes. Then forces of chaos discover the many forces that worship the chaos gods. Dark Imperium. Read the history of the Imperium's most recent calamities. Deadly Pursuit, White Scars, Space Marine Bikers take on the traitorous World Eaters in this fast-paced story. How to build the bikes, how to paint them. Tutorial 27, Stratagems. Rules Mission 32, Hellish Highway. And then Data Sheets. Okay, Space Marine Bikes. Space Marine Bikes, <clears throat> Space Marine Bikers use the incredible speed of their vehicles to make surprise attacks, punching holes in enemy formations. By the time the foe has heard the growling approach of a unit of Space Marine bikers, the damage has already been done. And then more stuff about that. Forces of Chaos. So this takes us through Renegades, uh, Corrupted Imperial Knights. Demons of Chaos emerge, where, emerge wherever the barrier between reality and the warp is thin. And demon Primarchs like Mortarian and Magnus the Red. So that's interesting. Then we've got a bit about the Dark Imperium. Such was the turmoil during the creation of the Great Rift and the period following that it could that there could be no reliable accounts. There's limited communication for turn. Historiotas and Chronotex struggled to understand the incoming reports. With the influx of warp energies, time passed strangely speeding up in some sectors and slowing in others. Then we've got Deadly Pursuit. The White Scars pursue Corn's blood-drenched followers across the sand-blasted badlands of Sarin. The roar of engines reverberates across the planet as the hunt reaches its climax. So we've got some Corn on bikes there. They look cool as well. Then we've got how to build these dudes. Then we've got the paint guide. Then we learn about stratagems. In Warhammer 40,000, your armies contain some of the greatest warriors in the galaxy. Their most, their most powerful specialisms, strategies and tactics are often represented in game stratagems. In most games, forces have command points which they can spend to use stratagems. So, it's got, got a few examples here. So, one command point gives you a reroll, command reroll. For two points, Counter-offensive, this, this stratagem is used right after an enemy that has charged has fought. Select one of your own eligible, eligible units and fight with it next. And another two command points, Insane Bravery. You can automatically pass a single morale test. This stratagem must be used before taking the test. Okay, then it's got some examples of it as well. Then we've got our rules mission 32, Hellish Highway. 
the Death Guard are closing in. The Space Marines have launched their breakout. And that is what we've got here, bridge breakout. The Space Marines must break out and clear a route through the Death Guard's defensive positions. This means storming one of the many bridges over the river that splits Kalon in two. So, we're separating our maps and putting a gap in the middle. We're putting our additional bridge terrain, which is here, which is this page here, which looks cool. Um, so yeah, this is creating that choke point that it mentioned before. Death Guard deployment zone is right in the middle here. And it's got Death Guard edge there, Space Marine edge there. Place the bridge terrain piece that comes with this issue between the two mats. Line it up with the road crossing the center of each board as shown above. Only models with the fly keyword can move over the gaps between the boards, but they cannot end a move in them. All models may shoot across the gaps. So what we've we got, the armies, two units of five plague marines, 12 pox walkers and the foul blight spawn. And then the Space Marines has got the Bikers, the Land Speeder, and the Redemptor Dreadnought. Deployment, the Death Guard player sets up the sets up all of their units wholly within their deployment zone. Space, Mar Space Marines player units move onto the board after the start of the first movement phase. Space Marine player takes the first turn. The victory conditions are the Space Marine player is victorious if they manage to move it any of their units off the Death Guard player's board edge. So that's crossing right across the bridge and across their deployment zone out the other side. Death Guard players victorious if they manage to stop all the Space Marine units from moving off the Death Guard boarding edge. Okay, last for five battle rounds. Then we've got our data sheets, obviously our map section there. And then what have we got coming up? So next week we've got some paints. Ogreen Camo, Dawnstone and Calgar Blue. And then issue 50 is 10 Chaos Cultists. The Cults of Corvon Rise. Add Chaos Cultists to your Death Guard. Okay, brilliant. Right, let's build some bikes. Okay, let's have a look then. So, it was very easy to put together, although I've noticed that I've the chassis a bit but yeah it is a cool oh look it's not even stuck to the base properly but it is a very cool model very nice now the actual wheels themselves I've glued these but they you can do them so as they they move freely if you don't want to glue them to the base don't know why you would do that but you can if you wish to so yeah very cool so I made one up of the two so anyway, pretty good week, interesting mission, kind of that bridge in the middle, very good. So just to briefly recap, competition, this is the last week of doing a competition for a while. So prizes, issue 48, the bikes, issue 47, land speeder. Issue 46, Furted Bloat Drone, Reinforcement Death Guards, including a Death Guard Champion, and I, I believe a Lord of Contagion. 45, the Scouts. 44, some Paints. 43, Thermic Plasma Regulators. 42 and 41. The Plague Burst Crawler and the Beast from Time of Legends Joan of Arc. So all we need to do is get 1500 views by the time issue 49 comes out and I will send these to the winner. So anyone who's looking for some Warcry stuff, I've got some more Warband details that I'm coming out that will be out this week. So I'm doing another three Warbands um, in terms of the cheapest way to put together existing Age of Sigmar warbands without buying the models individually and at extreme cost. But I'll trickle feed those out this week. Also this weekend I'll be putting out a guide to putting the terrain together. So I've seen numerous reports online of people saying that 
the height of the terrain is more or less than three inches and that kind of thing. Um, apparently the issue is if it's more than three inches, you're not putting your terrain together properly. So I'll be addressing that in a video this weekend as well. And generally I'll be I'll be focusing on a few war cry videos coming up this week. So if you want to see those, subscribe to the channel and ding that dong. Because I've shown the cheapest war band to put together. So that video I've already done and I'll be doing more and more this week. I'll be putting together at least one more war band that you can put together for less than 25 quid. Anyway, enough for that. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later.